What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over what to do if your PlayStation 5 will not go into safe mode. Let's get right into this. Now normally how to enter safe mode, you're going to turn off your PlayStation 5, you're going to press and hold the power button for 7 seconds until you hear the second beep, then you're going to release the power button, and then it should launch into safe mode, and it should ask you to connect your controller to the console with the cable. Now if you're not able to get into safe mode, the first thing for you to try, which is an easy fix, is to check the HDMI cable. If your TV does have multiple ports, I recommend to just plug in the HDMI cable to a different port, change the input settings on the TV to that port, and hopefully your PlayStation 5 does work and it will go into safe mode now. Now if it still doesn't work and you don't see any damage on the HDMI cable, that doesn't mean there's a problem with the HDMI cable, there still could be a problem internally. I recommend simply replacing and changing out and trying a different HDMI cable and hopefully that one will work for you. For myself, I always have multiple HDMI cables, one of which is an industrial one which will never have a problem. It's like an $80 HDMI cable that I can't remember how I got, but that would be what I recommend Commence. Now, if you're looking for a new HDMI cable, you don't need to spend $80 to get an industrial one. I didn't pay that, I got it for free, but you don't need to pay that. I also don't recommend getting the cheapest one. I get something in the middle is what I would recommend, something around $20, $25, as opposed to the $5 to $10 ones that you find, and nothing really expensive like the $80 one that I did mention. Now if you change the HMI cable and you tried all of that and it still does not work, the next thing to try is a soft reset for your PlayStation 5, which trust me is not scary whatsoever. To do this, you're going to turn off the PlayStation 5 and you're going to disconnect all of the cables. You're going to leave it unplugged for about 20 to 30 minutes. After the 20 to 30 minutes, you're going to plug everything back in, turn on the PlayStation 5 and try to enter safe mode. By you waiting that 20 to 30 minutes, that is you doing a soft reset on the PlayStation 5. Now hopefully that did work for you and now you can get into safe mode for whatever reason that you're trying to access it. If that still didn't work, now it's time to power cycle your PlayStation 5, which again is not scary. To do this, you're going to turn off the PlayStation 5 and you're going to unplug all of the cables once again. This time you're only going to leave it for 2 to 5 minutes. After the 2 to 5 minutes, you're going to, with it still unplugged, press and hold the power button for 7 seconds. After you press the power button for 7 seconds, you're going to wait an additional 1 to 2 minutes before plugging everything back in and trying to access safe mode. Now the reason of even doing this and power cycling your console, what you're really doing is taking all of the remaining power out of the console by pressing the power button for that 7 seconds while everything is disconnected, it's going to basically drain all of the power that was remaining in the console. Now if you already checked and replaced the HDMI cable, you tried to power cycle your PlayStation 5 and you did a soft reset on your PlayStation 5, there's no other real quick fix that you can try for your PlayStation 5. In my opinion, there's likely a bigger problem with the console. If it is under warranty, I recommend taking it back to get it the warranty for it. If you didn't get an extra warranty with it whenever you purchased it, you might have to send it back to Sony, which is one feature that I absolutely hate with the warranty that comes with Sony. That's why whenever I bought mine at GameStop, I did get the extended warranty, which GameStop does offer in one year and a two year extended warranty on it, which you just take the console back to them if there's a problem and they'll exchange it for you. If it is out of warranty already, then I recommend taking it into somewhere that has good ratings and try to get it repaired and hopefully they will get it fixed for you. But other than trying the HDMI cable, power cycling the console and doing a soft reset, there's nothing else you can really try yourself without going into more tech savvy stuff. Hopefully one of those three options did work for you. If they did, leave a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because there's going to be more PlayStation 5 videos in the future. Now once again, like I mentioned in all of these videos, just because it didn't work for you doesn't mean it's not going to work for somebody else. These sometimes will not work for everybody, especially if there's a bigger problem with their console, but hopefully it has worked for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.